Welcome back y'all. I've got another video for you today. Today I'm going to be taking this PLA 3D printed part and duplicating it. When it was on my printer the heat from the hot end was causing it to warp and discolor and I was just worried about the long term. First thing I'm doing is reusing a pattern box that you may recognize from my match plate video. It's just some scrap wood that I glued together. After it's all glued up and all the edges are sealed, we're gonna put the part in there. The hot glue's not too hot for the PLA. So put a little on there, press it down really firm to remove any gaps or spaces to keep the silicone from getting underneath there. When mixing the silicone, I always make sure to wear gloves. This stuff is a huge pain in the ass to get off your hands if you don't. This silicone right here is equal parts A and B. So I just mix up the A part and then match up the B part by putting the same amount. Mix in a little color. The color isn't made for the silicone and worked a little bit. I just wanted to do something that I could see a little bit better and I either needed to use a lot more or use the proper coloring agent for the silicone. Quick mix and we're ready to pour. Uh, here you can see I'm pouring in a long stream from really high up. Just helps eliminate the bubbles give it some time to spread out and hopefully the bubbles will pop. I'm also pouring into the lowest part of the box so that it slowly fills up and pushes all the air out as it moves up. I set the cup aside with a little extra in there so I can tell when the silicone is done without touching the mold that I need. That little part that you see in there, I peeled off just to make sure that everything was finished. Removing the outside of this box was actually pretty tough this time. I'm not sure why, it's been pretty easy in the past, but took some hammering and some prying. And eventually it was just peeling it away from the silicone and the hot glue that was holding it down and sealing all of the edges. Right here I'm peeling the silicone out of the wood box. With this kind of silicone the wood may not have been the best option because it's porous and all of the little cracks and crevices that silicone likes to get into just make it a little tougher to remove. After it's out you can see the part is still encased in there. Before I remove the part, I'm gonna to try to trim away the little bit of silicone that got underneath the part and the excess around the edges. I tried just slicing it, but because of how soft this silicone is, I had to stretch it before I could cut it. Right here, you can see the little screw holes that are in there. I'm just stretching it away and slicing those off. Those will sit back in place where they were cast, but they're gonna have to be loose in order to get the part out and get all of the duplicates out in the future. A little screwdriver here helps to push those the little screw holes of silicone left over in there. And there you go. Now I got the perfect size cavity to pour in some resin or in my case I'm using something called a loom light. I 
Same thing here, it's equal parts. I tried adding some color in here, but turns out that the water-based paint doesn't mix with the Illumilite at all. It just leaves chunks in there and separates out over time. I was just trying to match it up to the other colors that I've done for modifications on my 3D printer. Now we're mixing two of them together. Once these touch, the work time on it before it hardens is only seven minutes. The work time is something like 30 seconds. So stir it up quick and pour fast. Again, I'm trying to pour into the low spots as much as possible to evacuate any air that's down there and eliminate trapped bubbles. This is just a little shaking to get some bubbles out of the bottom, make sure that I'm not going to be missing any spots. About 15 minutes later, it's all done, it's ready to be pulled out. Same technique as before to get the silicone out of the screw holes. It takes 72 hours to cure completely. While it's still soft, it's pretty easy to cut the flashing off. And I usually like to wait at least a day or two before sanding to make sure that I don't end up clogging my sandpaper. Right here, I'm showing you the one that I took off the 3D printer. It had quite some use in it, and you can see the discoloration, the warping, and some of the layers of the PLA are actually starting to separate where it gets closer to the hot end. Here it is installed on the printer. Came out exactly the same size. It doesn't seem that there's much shrinking on the Illumilite. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that you get something out of it that you can use in the future. Thanks for watching.